Let's face it, sleeping together has become so commonplace that it's actually part of the decision-making process when it comes to an intimate romantic relationship. And this is true for women just as much as men. Many of you women have said to me, and I quote, I need to know if he's good and bad before I want to invest in this person. So what train, What makes a man choose you and invest in you? I know that the title says chase, but let's replace the word chase with invest. What makes a man invest in you over another person that they might have slept with? This is a really good question. What does it take for a person to invest in you? Now, certainly it's important to have some level of physical attraction with one another um, to get yourselves aroused. That's pretty, that's pretty self-evident. But there's an intangible that's so difficult to quantify. This is what makes us go out in the dating marketplace over and over and over again. This intangible is energetic connection, energetic connection. I think energetic connection is really the, the root of where love lies in a relationship, is that energetic connection. What makes this one person different than the other? I think when you feel aligned with a person, this is certainly a good starting point. When you share the same values, when your lifestyles are blendable with one another, and most importantly, there's a level of emotional maturity within this person. And, and when we look at emotional maturity, we can, we can think about sense of humor in this category. We can think about intelligence in this category, and most importantly, relationship skills. You see, the vast majority of singles over 45 years old who are in the dating marketplace, and my demographic is those after baby making years before retirement demographic, for those 45-year-olds, many of them if not 75% of them are divorced. Now, why is this important to, to contemplate? Well, with divorce comes an unraveling of the tapestry of an old life. And depending on how that unraveling of that tapestry went, it can create a very contentious type of dynamic for those who are actively in the dating marketplace. So, how, well, Jonathan, how does this relate to chasing him or getting him to chase me? Well, I want you to think about this. If there's a contentious relationship with another person, that's going to detract from actually having someone invest in you in the future. Again, we men, these days, it's so easy to obtain sex that that's not a real quantifier to establishing a long-term relationship with someone. So does he have a contentious relationship with his ex? What if he actually genuinely cared for his ex so much so that he feels maybe betrayed, he feels rejected by his ex, and he still pines for his ex. My sweetheart and I are watching the show called Firefly, Firefly Lane. It's on Netflix. And uh, one of the couples in the relationship have gone through a divorce, but they still deeply love one another. Well, if someone is experiencing that, how much can they invest in someone? They can physically have intimacy with someone, but are they really going to invest and chase this person if they're still pining for a past relationship? And by the way, it doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be a significant relationship, significant relationship that just ended. What about those people that are going through a contentious experience in their professional life? If someone's ground underneath them doesn't feel solid, they can't really invest in someone. They can experience occasional companionship, occasional connection, occasional sex, but without really that, that capacity to invest beyond that. And that's what we mean by Chase, investing beyond that, investing towards a committed relationship. So it requires those of you that genuinely want a life mate in your life, you have to first desire wanting a life mate. In addition, you have to be in a good place within yourself. You have your relationship, if you're uh, married, if you're divorced, needs to be somewhat stable, just like you're requesting the man's life to be stable in that capacity. You also have to not be pining for a past relationship, whether it's a marriage or someone who you recently went out with. And certainly, the ground underneath you needs to be solid as well to attract this person who's going to invest beyond sleeping with you. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating?
So what's going to turn the tide? I've talked about this repeatedly. And I also remind everyone that while attraction is so necessary to get the, the rocket ship into, the, into orbit, it's going to keep something in orbit, is that you share the same values with a person. That's critically important. You know, one of the values I appreciate most in my sweetheart, and it's one of my top values, is punctuality. And, when I, and I know this sounds so simplistic, and yet for me, this was really important. And she, I mean, what I love about her is she is absolutely on time. If she makes a commitment, she's going to be ready at 5 p.m. She is ready at 4.59, okay? That's a value that I appreciate. For some people, a value might be health, valuing health be a really important value. Maybe charity is an important value to you. Being charitable with people. I invite you to Google a list of values so you know your core values because we all can recognize that honesty, trust, and integrity are important. Those to me are given values. Those, should be, those aren't the ones that you really want to pay attention to. Pick those values that are most important to you. Shared health, charity, punctuality are just a few examples of that. So do you share the same values with this person? And the only way to know this is to actually witness these values over a period of time. So this is one of the fundamental pieces of alignment is that shared values. Now, the next piece is so critically important to get someone to invest in you, and that's the capacity to blend lives with one another. It's really the integration of each other into each other's lives. That includes doing social activities, hobbies, mutual interests. That includes spending time with family and friends. That includes traveling together. You see, this requires a day in, day out type of relationship to get someone to invest in you. So if we're hyper-focused on attraction, we're not going to hit these places of these milestones of building trust with a person. And trust isn't just about fidelity. Trust is, does this person have my best interest at heart? So I invite you to recognize the mechanics to building a healthy, happy relationship with someone. And lastly, this emotional maturity piece. See, men only want to be with, okay, emotionally healthy men want to only be with emotionally healthy women. And I suspect you emotionally healthy women want emotionally healthy men. This requires going beyond the surface in dating. You just don't sit back in your feminine energy and just wait for the guy to lead. This requires you to do your due diligence because, as I've said repeatedly over and over, when we're meeting total strangers, the only thing we know is what they tell us about them. This requires doing your own due diligence, including paying attention to the clues to gauge someone's emotional maturity. By the way, this is where I look at, right here's a link to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. My area of expertise is to teach you the questions you should be asking based on your personality to evaluate this person because ultimately, the only time someone's really going to invest in you is where you line up in these core areas of both chemistry and compatibility. And compatibility does include what I just shared, values, lifestyle, and emotional maturity. So what's the real secret to get him to invest in you? Folks, you're going to have to integrate into each other's lives. Think about it. Think about your friends. Why are they in your life? Because you've integrated each other into your lives. I mean, I know we use the word friends very, very cavalierly. On Facebook, we have all these friends. But how many people are going to be there for you when you need them in the cyber world? Probably not. How do you build a friendship? It is do, through the doing of things together. And through this doing things together, through this integration of each other's lives, where you build the deep roots of trust, it makes a man want to invest in you beyond sleeping with you. I know many of you need help with that. That's why reach out to me. I can help you in this capacity. But ultimately, all I'm doing here today is planting the seed for you all to recognize that the way to a healthy, happy relationship is to spend regular time together, doing things together, 
versus our current model of just spending all our time on text messaging and uh, chatting versus actually physically doing things together. Because physically doing things together is how you build. It's how you build a house. You have to, you have to take two by fours and hammer them together physically. You can't build a house over the phone. You build a house face to face. And that's my invitation for all of you. Hope this is sinking in and this is resonating with you. If it is, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please post a comment below. Um, also, if you find value in this video, please hit this like, please hit the like button, please share this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. And in the description below are all the ways to connect with me, schedule a discovery call, join my group called Midlife Love Mastery, get my books that I recommend. They're all in the description below and in the first comment. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic child from America self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, teddy bear, a pillow. Give it or them a hug of love. Because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. Bye.